everyone, welcome back to Piston Gut Productions. Today, I'm taking over for this live stream, and it's me, of course, your favorite, Piston Gut Productions' brother. <laughs> Alright, so, today we're going to be unboxing this mini- What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, you know, I just want to take over as a live stream for No, 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 you're only the voice of Cruz in my, in my YouTube channel. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't Piston Cup Brothers Productions. That would be actually uh, pretty cool. No, I wouldn't. This, this is Piston Cup Productions uno persona only not piston cup compadres it's like not those bros tacos from turbo oh, this yeah. is piston cup productions not piston brother productions or whatever go, go, go look for some seagulls or something oh actually okay bye bye, bye cruz bye bye mr mcqueen sheesh all right hello everyone welcome back to piston cup productions we got 59 people on the live stream already that is incredible so Without further ado, I am super excited to bring to you guys June's monthly unboxing. So now, without further ado, welcome everyone. And we're going to basically open up everything, going movie through movie. We're going to go through Cars 1, Cars 2, Cars 3. We have Thailand and China diecast here for Thailand versus China. And we're also going to be unboxing that mystery box over there. Ooh. And I found this at an HEB. We got Buzz Lightyear from the new Drive-In series. So, we also have we also have some minis to unbox. So, dang, there's a lot of people commenting. Anyways, let me turn on the light real quick so we can have a little bit of better lighting. Hopefully that works for you guys. I did notice it was a little bit darker. Alrighty, so we're going to be opening everything up. And this live stream will not be deleted. It'll be permanently on the channel up forever and ever anyways don't mind the toy story figures right there my toy story collection shelf is literally right there um how much was the driving car i think it was 397 the thing is when i was at the checkout they didn't give me a receipt but um i did get hunting footage of it um it's not in my newest hunt but for the next hunt it'll be it'll be in there and the price is around three it's under four dollars so anyways without further ado Thank you everyone for attending the live stream. I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get to it. So, I guess we should start off with the mini racers. I think they're all from Cars 3 though. Hmm, should we unbox the mini racers right now? Or until we get to the Cars 3 section at the back there? What do you guys think? Start with the minis? Okay. One person suggests to start with the move. The minis. People are suggesting now, minis. Let's wait. Minis, minis. Okay, everyone, mostly everyone said the minis. Let's wait until the Cars 3 section. Start with the minis. Now. Okay, um, mostly everyone's suggesting the minis, so I guess we'll start with the minis. So, as you guys know, my mom got three of these. And this, this one is number 46. So, let's see who is in the Series 2 blue box. All right, so first of all, we got, who is this again? Jack the Post? JD McPillar is the next gen of him. Yeah, my bad. And here's the first one of the trash pile. Uh, I do got some trash bags from HB right there, but yeah, you, you guys are going to notice by the end of the video, it's going to be a huge mess either way. So there's no point in really having the plastic bags, but anyways, whatever. All right, so here we got Jack the Post. My bad that the focus is terrible. It's most all, mostly all the time like that in live streams. But anyways, now we have number 44. Um, this live stream, I'm expecting to be 45 minutes long. Hopefully, we can get it done by then. So sit tight, relax. Or sit tight and relax. No, relax. Relax. Lay down, eat some popcorn, some chips, some Doritos. Relax and enjoy the live stream. This is for you guys. Anyways, here we got Paul Conriff. Ew, his expression looks weird. Hmm. Uh, yes, I'm using the iPhone 11 for the live stream. No thumbs <laughs> again. Okay, we'll do the next one with no thumbs. I'll try to I'll try to uh, read as many comments as I can, because you know I'm unboxing and whatnot. He looks depressed. Hmm. Aren't we all? <laughs> Joking. Um. No thumbs. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we do. No thumbs. Too easy. 
We got... Oh, can I not hold it with the thumbs? Okay, I'll just hold it with these. Oh, yeah, drink some soda as well. This is Aaron Clocker, right? Aaron Clocker? Is it? Yeah. I think so. Any updates on your channel? Um, I'm trying to think of some. No, not really. Um, I'll think of a few in just a bit. I think... Hmm, do I have any channel updates? Hmm. Uh, it'll probably come up to me later, but here we go. Aaron Clocker, dope. All right, so next one. What's up, everyone? Joining the live stream, number thirty-seven. Okay, let's see. Oh, what the? Huh? This one's in a plastic bag. Okay, that's weird. This is blind spot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, spam alert. Okay. Here we go. Blind spot. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. I like the different colors, colored wheels. Amazing. Mexican. And I'm proud to be a Mexican. Thank you. I mean, it, it, it's amazing to see that my haters are on the live stream. So thank you guys for giving me the views. Haters, thank you for attending just means that you guys are just my biggest fans so thank you for joining <laughs> that's the best part about having haters one they give you the views two looks like they're your biggest fans because they're always up to you and always on your butt looking after you seeing what can i do what can i insult him with i mean you calling me a mexican i mean i'm not 100 percent mexican i'm hispanic but close enough i guess you tried bro i mean Clearly, my biggest fans need to know all the information of me, and clearly you got some of it wrong, so... Eh, sucks to be you. Anyways, I guess we'll start off now with the Piston Cup Race 5-pack. Uh, and... Don't diss the Cars meme overlord. Exactly. Exactly. Who, who, who disses the Cars meme overlord? He doesn't even type right. So let's just... How do I block him? It says, hide user... Uh, it just gives me an option for timeout, I think. I'll just put that. Hola, uh, Talis Bird. Saludos. Ooh, that's a lot of comments. I'll try to reading as many as I can, but um, for now, I'm going to do the Piston Cup Race 5-pack. Can you see my face? Oh, you can't really see my face this time around. And if it does, it's distorted. Distorted? Hey, Woody, let's drink some of the good stuff. <laughs> Piston Cup Race 5 pack. Yeah. Um, they're sealing them like this now because I guess Mattel took note of people that they open these, they take out the one car they want, and then they put it back inside and return it to the store. This is evidence for Mattel, I guess. Anyways. Yeah, see, this is, this is Mattel's trick. They, <laughs> they don't want you returning these when you put a China King... Or uh, chick eggs in place of. Well, I almost said Walmart. <laughs> Will, Wilmore Flats, and you know, just getting that one car. But anyways, uh, it's strange how they put the car street lightning McQueen's paint job. Right there. Chick is garbage. <laughs> Walmart Flats. I'm already starting with the memes, <laughs> and people are getting their Doritos. Nice. You got Strip Withers, aka The King, Walmart Flats, Lightning McQueen, Race Official Tom, and then Chick Hicks. Okay, so let's just tear this box open. They made it so difficult because I, I guess they put super glue. That's a lot of damage. They put flex tape on this thing or something. I can't open this. That's weird. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Because this is getting difficult to unbox. I, I can't... Hmm. See, this is one of my fears when I'm doing live streams. I wish I could cut off. But instead, I gotta make the people wait. Because I... I don't know... Oh, I don't know how to open this. Use, use a chainsaw. I should. I should use a chainsaw. And I think they made the 11 packs at Target like this too. Yeah, I think they did. I think I reviewed one of the 11 packs from Target and it had the same situation. Mm -hmm. 
Please stand by meme right here. Yeah, because this is going to take a long time. Use a knife. Oh, I got scissors right here. Let's see if this helps. Okay. Um, saludos a todos que están llegando. Um, hello, everyone who's just arriving to the live stream. Welcome, everyone. Hope you guys have a great day. Oh, was it the George Newman five pack that was difficult to open? I think so. Saludos a todos mis fans de México. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you can't return that to Walmart. <laughs> They're going to know something's up. All right. Here we got all of the cars in their beautiful desert blue packaging. Ooh, Chicago. Nice. All right. So these are all made in Vietnam. So we're going to compare them to Thailand and China. And people were asking me, what are you going to call a series if you're going to do Thailand, China, and Vietnam now? So I was thinking we call it, um, I was going to originally just Chicago. Cargo. <gasps> That's genius. Okay. So I was thinking at first something basic like Thailand versus China versus Vietnam. But I was like, nah, that's not too original. Or it just sounds kind of lengthy. So to sum it up, I was thinking of this pack. And I was like, okay, there's three cars. Let's imagine McQueen is China, Chick is Thailand, and the King is Vietnam. And you know how in the Cars 1 movie, they all get a tie. Or they all tied, right? In the, in the beginning of the movie. So I was thinking we call it the triple header series where it's Thailand versus China versus Vietnam. Instead of calling it that, we're just going to call it triple header series. So without further ado, I guess this is going to be the start of that triple header series. So we have three manufacturers now. If they make another, let's, if they go to Japan, next thing you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Then we're going to have to do a quadruple header or something. But anyways, let, oh, these are rubber bands. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult. Let me try just adjusting the tripod downwards right here. Put user in timeout. Okay. So, I want to start with Walmart flats. Okay, let's see here. Chicago. Okay. All right, so here we have Walmart flats. Walmart flats. Get rid of that. We're 12 minutes into the live stream. Um, there's so many little pesky rubber bands. Okay. So, here we got Walmart flats with all of her. Is it a her? I think it is. Or is it a him? I'm not sure. But it's got all those Lightning McQueen fan flags and accessories and whatnot. I don't have this character in China, so it's my first time having this character. So it's basically the only reason why I got this pack. So, made in Vietnam. Lowercase m, that's weird. Let's see Francesco here. Uh, it just says China. Okay, so how about this Thailand the King? Made in Thailand, all in caps. And then here, made in Vietnam with a lowercase m. That's weird. Let's check out Lightning McQueen from Thailand. What does he say? Made in Thailand in caps. That's weird. That's interesting. And the mini racers are made in Thailand, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Thailand. Oh, there you go. Lowercase letters. Okay. So, there's one more flats. And the way I'm going to start displaying the cars as we unbox them is going to go around in this, like, half circle, I guess. So... I guess we'll put the minis up the front right here because there's going to be a lot of cars. Um, people are asking, I've noticed right now in the chat about Danico Blue 43 um, I don't think he's going to be doing YouTube anymore, but he's still collecting and checking up on cars once in a while. Which, spoiler alert, that box are cars that I bought from his collection because he was selling his collection and he had some cars I didn't have. And this is the first box I got sent by him. So I have two boxes that I've ordered from him. Or I've only ordered one so far. The other one I still haven't ordered because I want to save it till July's monthly unboxing. But that's the first one that we're going to open from Danico Blue 43's collection. Little Harky, 
um, I think same situation that they simply don't really have time for YouTube anymore and they want to focus more on their personal lives. So, anyways, yeah. Do I have Discord? No, I don't have Discord or any Twitch streaming stuff like that. I, I don't. When is your new movie? Um, I'm not sure. I'll talk about that towards the end because... I, I mean, I did mention it. You can watch my... What, what video was it? I think it was Hunt number 33 or 34. I'm not sure. But there's a video where I talk about up, updates on the channel and what's happening with Racing Like a Fireball 3. Anyways. Let's go on with... What's his name? Gosh, I gotta check the box. Race Official Tom. And I kind of did compare these um, before this live stream. Just in the package from the window that they, you know, that they come in, the clear window. And Race Official Tom doesn't look too different. He looks really similar to the China one, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this guy. But I do know that he's been released in Thailand, China, and Thailand already. Because this guy was in a two-pack with Thailand McQueen. So, here we got Race Official Tom. And here's the China one to compare it to. Vietnam, China. If I say Thailand by accident, my bad. Okay, so the eyes look a little bit different. Hmm. The colors look really dull on the Vietnam one. Interesting. But that's the only thing I noticed that's different. Okay, so for this... Side comparison, Vietnam at the top, China at the bottom. Uh, they look the same. Yeah, they look really similar, so... Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on these characters. So... Let's put this right here. Hey, how do you know I have a ceiling fan? Well, I mean, of course I do, but I have it turned on right now because, you know... Anyways... Let's go on with Lightning McQueen uh, from Vietnam. I kind of, I mean, it's not that I get impatient with these five packs. It's just they take a long time and I'm really excited to do the singles already. I really want to do, I know a lot of people are waiting for that, but we're going in order. So as soon as we're done with this five pack, it's Claude, then Rex, then Buzz, then the Giant Box, then the Terry Gong. Disney Store Francesco, which I've had in package since May. So it's been waiting two months to get unboxed now. I just forgot about him. He was just left in the closet. And then we go to Carla, um, Holly Shiftwell, Josh, Corp Josh Corporal Josh Coolant, my bad. And then we go to Cars 3 with License Sounds, Jackson Storm, uh, Jay, I believe. Thailand, Tim Treadless, Silver Tim Treadless, Thailand Superfly, if I'm not mistaken. Fan favorites flow, and I think there's also the Muddy Rusty's Racing Center McQueen all the way back there as well. And that'll be the end of the live stream. Hopefully, I can finish this in a good at a good pace. My bad. So I I'll answer questions till the end if we have time. But there's these little rubber bands stuck at the bottom of McQueen's tires. Hmm. Okay, now those are free. But these are stuck there. Yeah, I hope I find the McQueen with the lights soon. I just got to check some more HEBs. Hopefully they got them already. Okay, this is going to take too long, so I'm not going to even bother with that. Okay, so now for the whole tri triple, 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 triple header series. Thailand versus China versus Vietnam. Holy cow. Okay, let's, 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 let's. Take this all in and now let's let's look at this um this is weird to see because it seems like china is the it's not the og because you know in 2005 or 6 when they were releasing the first cars diecast in the desert back they were from thailand and then they went to uh, china and then they went back to thailand and now they're in vietnam and thailand china is literally slowly fading away uh, not slowly actually very quickly because five packs the 11 packs all the two packs they're either vietnam or thailand and the xrs diecast 
there's being mostly Vietnam, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, let's do first Thailand versus Vietnam right here. And I guess they uncolored his mouth, which is something I liked about the Thailand one. And they don't have a mouth plate. I mean, not a mouth plate, an eye plate, my bad, anymore. But McQueen seemed to put on more makeup this time around. Hmm. Looking at the spoilers, this one looks a lot cleaner. And it seems like Vietnam is trying to be a China wannabe because look at that. It looks pretty dang similar, the print. Do I blame the trade wars for all of this going on? Kinda. I mean, it makes sense unless they're just budget cuts because Mattel is probably like, oh, where can we produce the cars cheaper? China, Thailand, or Vietnam? And they probably said, okay, Vietnam. But they're still doing Thailand, so it's a little bit confusing. Uh, the mouths are very similar. Seems smaller to me on the Vietnam one. And the Thailand one also seems smaller. Uh, maybe it's just me. McQueen's transgender? Hmm. Don't give Pixar ideas. Whoa, how'd you put that YouTube sticker right there? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Next thing you know, everyone's going to start putting that in the comment section and not gonna, I'm not going to know how to do that. Okay, so now Thailand, China, Vietnam. Oh, shoot. Now everyone's putting that sticker. <laughs> okay, so what? that is cool. I haven't been on a live stream of another YouTuber in a long time. So Okay, now everyone's putting the sticker. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's that's hilarious. There's a loading one. <laughs> the loading sticker is me trying to wait for YouTube to put my ads back on. Alright, so. Thailand, China, Vietnam. What do you guys see that is different? Don't mind my China one. It's a little bit scratched right there, but you can barely even see it. But uh, it's just, it's so much to compare three cars at once. But I want to take a look at Wait, are they... Is the length different? Um, no, I don't believe so. Okay, so... Vietnam and Thailand. Let's compare their grainy details. Hmm. Honestly, they don't look that bad. Oh, wait. <gasps> they switched back to these decals <gasps> that is so cool because i believe on the thailand ones they're printed on with like heat or something so if you get like nail polish remover they won't come off and that's the whole point of like well disney cars customizers who customize their own die cast to create new ones they would highly depend on nail polish remover to take off the decals and then Thailand came around and they were like, nope. And then boom, you got this. You can't take them off with nail polish remover. But then I'm looking at this Vietnam one and I can feel the decals popping out a little bit. Maybe they've gone back to China. And that's why I'm saying China, I mean, Vietnam is a China wannabe. Rip customizers, custom, customizers, my bad. So that is, that is really weird. Um, I'm going to stick with that whole thing of it seems that Vietnam is trying to be super similar to China. But because I mean, look at this. They took off the black in the mouth that Thailand gave McQueen. They took off the eye plate that Thailand gave McQueen. They're, they're, they're so similar. The only difference I see is difference in the color of the Rusty's logo. And of course, McQueen put on some makeup this time around. That's it. That's all I see different. Everything else seems the same. Ew, the... Okay, the colors are super dull on the lightning bolt. I don't like that. Okay, so... That is just really weird. Okay, so, um... Gosh, this, this is... This is weird. Okay, so we got Thailand, China, Vietnam. Vietnam, Cars 1 McQueen is really bad. Eh, it's... It, it seems alright, it's just... I'm getting... Lots of China vibes from that McQueen. But anyways, let's put the Vietnam one right there. Gosh, my back is hurting. I'm getting old. I'm becoming a, bo a boomer slowly, day by day. Okay. Check Hicks. It's been 24 minutes. 
I gotta pick up the pace. Okay, yeah, it's a whole McQueen family. Boomer PCP. I know, it's sad. I'm gonna have to pass on the torch to my brother. No, I'm just joking, joking. <laughs> Hick Chicks, number 98. Oh, yes, indeed. And did you hear about McQueen Lightning, number 59? Pretty dope racer, in my opinion. Bernoulli Francesco, number... Oh, uh, he's just number one. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so th there we go. Chick Hicks. Let's do Chick Hicks super quickly. Um, there's something I have noticed with Chick past all these years that he's been released is that they can never choose what color to make him. He's always somehow a different color. And this one looks similar to the Car Street Chick Hicks with the rubber tires and the piston cup. I'm, I don't know why I didn't bring him out. But anyways, Thailand, China, Vietnam, only colors I see. I mean, only colors I see. Only difference I see is the colors of green. Thailand, China, Vietnam. Uh, Thailand or China. Huh, what's up with their, their roof? It looks a lot darker. And blurry for some reason. Am I sure this is China? Yeah, that is China. And then Thailand seems a little bit grainy as well. Huh. I'm starting to like this Vietnam one. And the eyeshadowing, or makeup I should say, doesn't even look that bad. Thailand chick I'm not a big fan of. Sure, it's got an eye plate, but... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm liking the, the Vietnam one, to be honest. The number 86 is a lot bigger as well. Oh, no. They, they did not... Those wheels, the print of the yellow on those wheels look super crooked and poorly done. Comparison to, whoop, there he goes. Comparison to China, they did a great job with the tires or the rim color. Okay, on the back, huh, it almost seems like they all have different fonts on their HTB logo. Strange. <laughs> you got to pick up the pace, car. Nice one. Oh, and I'm guessing... Oh, no, yeah, same scenario. Uh, where's the Thailand one? Here it is. I'm guessing also heat applied decals, so you can't rub it down with nail polish remover to make customs. And this one... Huh, they both feel the same. See? Vietnam are trying to be China wannabes. I'm telling you. Okay, China, Thailand. My new favorite. Vietnam. So far, I've liked the... Oh, I didn't... I mean, I like the China one. Okay, no, you know what? I'm getting super sidetracked. I am so sorry. If I, You know what? Sometimes I even just wish or think of making a live stream just to talk with my fans and just say, Hey, guys, so what do you guys want to talk about? I'm here to chat with you guys. I kind of do want to do that. I think I should, especially since we're all in like, you know. Um, I, if I say the word, probably get demonetized, so I won't say it. But anyways... Speed. I am speed. Clearly not. I'm taking forever to take out these rubber bands. <laughs> Everyone. China or Thailand? Vietnam comes out of nowhere. Yes. <laughs> what is your favorite car in the franchise? Ooh. I like Doc Hudson. The King is one of my favorites as well. Mater. Um, Lightning McQueen, of course. Take a breath, yuppie. Sarge is amazing also. He's great. Him, him, name a better duo. I'll wait. Feel more in Sarge. All right. So, Thailand, China, Vietnam. Ooh, what the heck am I looking at? Ew, 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 ew. Ooh, okay, I'm not... Oh, sorry, Buzz. I am so... Buzz, his helmet is off. He's probably choking right now. Breathing for air. Okay, so... Vietnam... China, Thailand. I am not liking that Vietnam one. What the heck is up with his eyes? Edna Mo, where, where you at, Edna? Shoot, where do I where do I have her? I think I have her in the closet. Edna Mo would say no. She would say no to this. This looks disgusting. I do not like the eyes at all. Thailand, China, Vietnam. Okay. They in Thailand. They took off the white outline from the Piston Cup sponsors. 
And China had it originally, of course. And there we go. Vietnam is copying China. Literally, it's like that classroom meme where it's Vietnam copying the test off of China. And then you got Thailand right here. Smartest kid in the class. Always ahead of the pack. Oh my gosh, this is a whole family right here. This should really be a thumbnail or something. Someone make this a meme. Oh, it's like the, the, the gun meme where like this one's pointing a gun at this one and this one's pointing a gun at that one. <laughs> that is so hilarious. I'm gonna leave it like that for a few seconds if anyone wants to take a picture. But literally, the only difference I see is... Oh my goodness. Scratch that. They, they, they went back to the black window tint as well. Vietnam are a bunch of China wannabes. I swear. Look at that. They are so similar. I literally see no difference. Who is this? Vietnam. Okay, this is China. Mine's a little wacky printed on there. Huh. Bolder text right there. Yeah, there are. <laughs> Why did I say that? That's so weird. Buzz looks thick. <laughs> text. Nope. All right. My favorite here is the Thailand one. I do like the Thailand one a lot. Uh, the tires. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> oh my gosh. I thought this Creeper MC almost said the Piston Kappa Productions and I was going to be like, where? Who likes Kappa? All right. So. Buzz looks like an alien. <laughs> and then Woody laughing in the background. Okay, we're done with the five pack. Thank God. Get rid of that. That what that took forever. You know what? We're gonna go through this super quickly now. So, okay. <laughs> Spider Man. Oh, no, it's not. That's not ever gonna work. Buzz thick here. All right. So here we go. Claude Scruggs. And something I did want to mention before we start anything, they changed the logo. So here the Mattel logo is with. A white background, red print. And then before, though, eh, let's just take this one for example. Wait, but this is a newer one. I'm guessing they're just trying to do contrast because this is the one they've always used. And then this is the quote-unquote new one. But anyways, just wanted to mention that. Because, look, Rex has that as well. And Oh, no, actually, here's the best comparison. There we go. They would always do a white square. Focus speed, I am speed. They would always do a white square... And then the Mattel logo in red, as always, a traditional one with white text or font. Now, here, they got rid of the square. It's just a white seal with the red font. Interesting. No thumbs. Oh, shoot. I almost unboxed Josh by accident. Okay. Uh, bruh. Stay up. Stay up. I know. You guys are getting sleepy, too. Me, too. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I'm joking. I'm energetic. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Let's do this. No thumbs. Boom! You guys have asked me to do this so many times, it's become a piece of cake. Alright, so, I mean, Buzz do be looking kind of thick, though, with all that cake. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, so, the whole reason I got Claude as this new Thailand variant is because the one I have is the one with the rubber tires. See? There we go. It's the one with the rubber tires. So, I was like, you know what? I want a classic version without the rubber tires. And so, here we go. Um, the expression is different. The eyes is the only difference I'm seeing so far. Piece of drip pen. <laughs> he looks really angry. I like that. Or determined. Let's just say determined. I like this one. It's really cool, honestly. I like it. Oh, and of course, now you can't wipe. What the heck? Yo, look at the print. That looks amazing. And it feels amazing, too. Not the China one. It feels flat. And then this one feels like it's kind of 3D almost. The thing is, it's like... I think if I were to get... What's it called? Um, nail polish remover? I don't think it would come off. Interesting. Why is every next gen... Like, sad or mad? I mean, I guess Pixar just kind of made it a stereotype. Like, oh, here, these are the villains. They're supposed to be mad or sad or angry or... I don't know. Depressed. <laughs> Strange. Okay, so looking at the back here. Whoa. 
Which one's looking? I and mean, this one's looking kind of thick, though. Oh, hey, hey, Viet Vietnam. My bad. Thailand looking kind of thick, though. Mmm, those adult drip pens really did a number on you, Claude. Watch your wheels. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, YouTube be like, watch your mouth or also get demonetized. You know what? I think I'm going to do that when I get my car. My real life car, like vroom vroom, me driving on a car. That type of car. Not these cars, because I get these all the time. But I mean my actual vroom vroom driving car, because I'm in driving school. Anyways, why don't I have the original Claude? I don't know. This is weird. I have the, I have the variant with the tires. The rubber tires, but I never had the classic one. Weird. Okay, so we'll put those to the side. We compared them a bit. Only difference is really, really the expression. So, now, Spider-Man. Rex Reveler, which is not his name. So Edna Mode would also say no and disapprove of this. It's in the Dynaco 400 series. Yes, Dynaco 400 diecast. Right, right. He's in the... Oh, rims? Wait, what about the rims? Uh, look the same to me. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm finding little rubber bands all over the carpet. I'm going to have to vacuum the carpet when I finish this. I was originally going to open everything up outside, but it's like cloudy. So lighting kind of would have sucked. The lighting. Anyways, Rex Reveler, Cars 3, Gasket Racer, Sage, Danico 400 race car. They always mess these up. Uh, I should get. I shouldn't be surprised at this point anymore. Sage Vanderspin, thank you. Anyways, I don't have the China one, so this is a brand new character for me. I've never had Sage before, so I don't have anything to compare it to. Oh yeah, he be he do be looking kind of thicker than Buzz though. He do be looking kind of thick though. I mean, thick brothers, am I right? He looks dope. I like this car. The blue shade is really nice, and the coat looks really shiny. Pretty cool car. Compare them to Rex Rever. Okay, let me just reach over. My cars collection, or my Cars 3 racer shelf is right behind me, so. Here he is. All right, found them. Okay, so we do have something to compare it to. The blues are different. Number 80 is uh, bigger on the Cars 3 racer and smaller on the Cars 1 racer. Different logos on the back. Different expression, of course, because they're d both different characters, but I mean, this makes more sense, don't you think? Shoot, my bad. Oh, wait, he was in a blister. He's fine. Anyways, Edna Mode would not approve of this. I mean, I approve of, you know, this diecast because it's dope, but I don't approve of the fact that this guy, or yeah, this guy put his face on this cardboard and said, you know what? You know what? You're my son now. Boom. You're in the package now. Get out of here. Okay, let me put this guy back. And here's the only Thailand variant of Rex Reveler, the metallic one. All right, so let me put that back. And now let's go on with to infinity and be yeah, thick Buzz Lightyear. Okay, made in Vietnam. Got Flick, Mike, Sully, Ham. What is this, PT Flea and Woody? Drive-In series. They only had Buzz. I'm going to keep on looking for these characters. Bruh, they should really make Jesse in this series. They, I, I see so many opportunities for this series if they keep it up and not just do re-releases. But look how thick his package is. In comparison to this one, he's like it's like 25% more thick. Mm, drinking the good stuff. Looking good, cowboy. All right. Oh, and Vietnam here decided to put a ridge for the name tag. Oops, my bad. Hit the camera. So just like Thailand, they have a ridge for the name tag, so it pops out. And they don't have that silver on the name tag because... Wait, where is it? Here's an example. If you compare these name tags, this is more like of the Cars 1 style that they used to have on the name tags, and then this is the newer version. See, I grew up with this, but you kids of today grew up with this. I mean, you can call me a boomer and whatnot, but I grew up with this sort of name tag. But you youngsters are growing up with this. Anyways. Does this helmet come off? Sorry, Buzz, but we're going to have to take off your oxygen mask. Yo, what the heck? It doesn't come off. You ever been Rickrolled? All the time, cowboy. I don't want to break it. Bro, what the heck? It doesn't come off. 
they should make Finding I mean, they can do Brave, Finding Nemo, more Toy Story, Inside Out, Coco. They can do so many more. The heck? That's stuck. That's... That is not... That's not gonna come off. That's... That's really weird. I mean, this is... <gasps> I got an idea. I can paint, like, with a blue marker somewhere. I don't know. Oh, never mind. It would have to be down there for Buzz's blue utility belt. So it could be utility belt, Buzz Lightyear. And normal classic Buzz Lightyear. Andy's Buzz. Al's Toy Barn Buzz. I was about to say Walmart Buzz. <laughs> Anyways, this is so weird. The helmet doesn't come off anymore. So it's a variant in two ways. One, it's made in Vietnam. And two, the helmet doesn't want to come off. That is super weird. Maybe it does, and maybe mine is just stuck on there. But I, if I pull from here, the spoiler can break off. And if I pull from here, you know what? Let's just pull from here. I don't see what can happen. Nope. I don't think it's supposed to come off. That's weird. That sucks. Okay. So let's just... Comp but Okay, you know what? Now I see why they glue it on or leave it on like that now. It's because this one, it's so loose and it just pops right off. Or maybe it's just mine, but let's start with the thickness of the back. The Pixar text looks different. Here it's white, here it's more silver. Um, comparing the wingtips of the helmets, they seem to be the same. Let's compare the, hel the helmets real quick. Hmm. Seems taller on the Vietnam one, but only just. Is it just me? It seems a little bit tight. Uh... A little bit taller. My bad. Hmm. The eyes, of course, are different. The shade of purple on Buzz's head looks lighter on the Vietnam one. You guys want me to compare with the real Buzz Lightyear? Sure. Okay. Let me... My Toy Story collection is right here. So let me get all the way up there to one of my Buzz Lightyears. I'll be right back. This will literally just take like five seconds. Should we choose... Okay, let me... You know what? Let me ask the viewers. Should we choose Disney Store Buzz? Takara Tomy Buzz or Signature Collection Buzz? Oh, it's been 41 minutes. Ah, eh, you know what? Whatever. Let's do it for an hour and 30 minutes. Oh, I do have TikTok. Um, it's under Pissing Cup Productions. Tomy, Disney Store, Signature. Disney Store, Tomy, Tomy for the memes. You know what? Yeah, Tomy for the memes. Mm, what's up, Catboy? Ah, uh, yes. A classic meme. Also the buzz I use in my Toy Story series. Looking good, cowboy. Alrighty, so what are we doing this time around? What are we doing, PCP? Well, we're going to um, compare the Vietnam Buzz Lightyear car to to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, do, do you got the good stuff at least? I don't know, Buzz. <clears throat> Give me the good stuff. Give me the good stuff. Okay. This is the good stuff. What do you think, Buzz? Well, I mean, I guess it's not a problem because one eye is looking at me and then the other one is looking at Mini U. So what do you think, Buzz? Mm, well, it looks just extra thick to me. Mm, not as thick as me, though. It's a little bit of a disappointment. What do you mean, Buzz? Well, as you clearly didn't know, PCP, I am known for my galaxy thickness. <laughs> Both inside and out of the galaxy. So, yeah. I'm as thick as Elastigirl. Get jealous, Mr. Incredible. But yeah. My opinion on this Buzz Lightyear. He's pretty thick. He's, he's alright. He's decent. Um, my face looks personally better. Igualitos? Hey, 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 hey. chill, buddy, chill. Uh, I look better than this piece of crap right here. See, this guy right here is a masterpiece by Tomy. But you see, this thing right here is a piece of junk by Vietnam. And then get out of here. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, don't stop me, compa Woody. Uh, Woody! Woody! Watch up, Buzz. Hey, uh, I don't think PCP got the Vietnam version of you for the Pixar cars, so, um, uh, sucks to be you, Woody. What? He didn't hear me. I'm going to speak a little bit louder. Hey, Woody! What's up, Buzz? Can you hear me? What? 
You can't hear me. All right, guys. So that's it for the vlog. Um, Buzz, this isn't this isn't a vlog, Buzz. This is a this is a live stream. Oh shoot! I forgot to fix my hair. Buzz, what hair? <laughs> Whatever. Get out of here, Buzz. I guess we should continue. Thanks for ruining the live stream, Buzz. You're welcome. Anyways, let's continue on with this. We're going to Cars 2 now, and we're going with Terry Gong. Or, you know what? I'll ask, I'll ask the viewers. Do you guys want to go with Danico Blues 43's package or Terry Gong? Whichever. So if we start it this way, we go that way and finish with Terry. If we start this way, we go that way. So we either start with this or this. Mystery box or Terry? Let me get my scissors ready. Where are my scissors? Uh, they're right here, cowboy. Oh, thanks, Buzz. All right, so Terry, box, Danica Blue, box, Danica Blue, box, package. Okay, you know what? Let's do Danica Blue's package right here. Okay, let me just open this up real quick with uh, my scissors that Buzz has thankfully provided, kindly provided. I have no idea what I ordered. I completely forgot. This box has been in my closet for the past month or so. But let's just move over to right here where I have... Do you guys want to know a fun fact? I named the channel Piston Cup Productions based off of this box. If it wasn't for this box, I don't think I would have came up with the name Piston Cup Productions. Because one day, I was staring at this box and saw Piston Cup. And at the time, I was trying to change my channel name because my name of the channel was Gael Garcia, which was my real name, of course. So I was like, hmm... Piston Cup Racing Series. That would be a cool channel idea. But I was like, nah, scratch that. Piston Cup Studio? Piston Cup, nah. Piston Cup pro, pro, <gasps> Productions. And I was like, you know what? Let's make it Piston Cup Productions. And there we go. I made my channel Piston Cup Productions. Thanks to this wooden box I've had ever since I was five years old. That's how I became Piston Cup Productions. So you can thank the wooden box. Thanks, Mr. Wooden Box. Uh, your problem. Yeah, no problem, cowboy. Not you, Buzz. Okay, so Dynacle Blue 43 provided me with a nice Ralph Polo shirt, I think. Yo, nice. Oh, and he gave me some towels too. Is this toilet paper? Thanks, man. I needed some. Okay. Oh, bedding. Oh, he got me some new bed sheets. What is this? Looks wrong. Oh, look, a car popped out. <gasps> Ooh. Silver Carla Veloso. And she dummy thick. Okay, so I guess we'll just like... Hey, look, there's another one. Okay. Uh, oh, sh I ordered this? The heck? I don't even remember ordering this. Who is this? This guy's thick. What, what is it with all the thick cars they've been ordering? He's shiny. And thick! I mean... He's thicker than Buzz, though. Oh, I mean, I mean, you're you're thick too, Buzz. But look at him; he's thick. I don't approve. And Edna wouldn't either. Oh, yeah, I mean, I I wonder if Edna would approve. But he's thick. Is that just gonna be a channel meme now? Whatever. Anyways, next car. You know what? I'm just gonna roll this down. Revenge of the Thick. Revenge of the Sith. Hello there, General Kenobi. Oh, look, a pacer. Wait, is this tire band or is that just... I've never had the lemons growing up as a kid. So it's really cool to have them now. Yeah, he's pretty light. Okay, let's do the next one. And I see a mater. Oh, shoot. <gasps> Dang it, I am such an idiot. And I just ordered this on eBay the other day. Bruh. See, I, I completely forgot the stuff I ordered. So now I'm going to have doubles of these guys. I mean, I could just keep them in the package because it's the, I, the... The one of this guy that I ordered on eBay, it's the one that has Mater. So now I have two of these and an extra Mater. Either I return it back to eBay or I keep it sealed. It was like two bucks. I won it on a bid. Or two or five bucks, something like that. Whatever, I'll just set them up. To this side, I guess. I feel stupid now because I complete. That's what I get for keeping a box sealed for two months. And I'm ordering stuff on eBay. All right, I'm going to rip the toilet paper open and. Oh my goodness. 
Double thick. Double thick. These are dope. I love the paint on these guys. He dummy. See, this is thick. And this is slightly thick. But this is dummy thick. Mmm. All right, Mr. Dummy Thick. Next car. Who's this? Oh, it's another pacer. What's this guy's name? Anyone know? He's just a tiny car. <gasps> Jumanji! Oh, he's got a matte finish. Yeah, Edna Mode would be proud. Hmm. He's only got one mirror. Interesting. Petrov Trunkov. Okay. People are saying I made a weird sound. Wait, what sound did I make? I don't remember. My bad. Is maybe the live stream glitched? Because that does happen sometimes with my live streams. Is that the audio glitches and it sounds a little bit weird. But anyways. Who's this? Oh, God. I already have this. Don't I have this? Hold on. Where is he? Where's the thick boy? Here he is. Oh, they're different. Never mind. So this is the one I bought from Dynaco Blue 43, and this is the one I had. Oh, super thick, and then mmm, like that, or double thick. Mmm. Was it one or two? Because I completely forgot. I'm so invested in looking at these cars. That's pretty cool. So now I have two police cars. Scott Spark. Nice. His hat is thick. Ooh, another... P Bro, these are all just Cars 2 cars. Nice. This is a pretty cool pacer. I'm getting so many for my Cars 2 collection. Okay, just checking the toilet paper, making the rounds, seeing what else there is in here. Is this a Mater? Yeah, it's a Mater. Oh, shoot. Huh. I used to have this guy as a Disney Star, as a Disney Star car, my bad. But now I have them, Mattel. Nice, nice, nice. We got a Mater. So this is a pretty cool Mater. Well, uh, Buzz. Buzz, where are you? Oh, no, no. what's up? What do you think of this guy? Uh. Buzz! He's rare! What's your point? Uh. <sighs> Whatever. All right, I guess we'll go with, with uh, Corporal Josh Coolant now. Thanks, Dynacle Blue 43 for the toilet paper. I'll be sure to wipe with this. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. All right, let's do Corporal... Cor I can never say this. Corporal Josh Coolant. All right, so... London Chase. Let's do this. From the Palace... Or, oh, I thought it was Palace Danger. London Chase. That's weird. I think that was the how it was called before. Okay, so, don't have anything to compare this guy to. Next video, disturbing video PCP pounding buzz like yours <laughs> after vandalizing vehicles. Okay, so, oh, he's pretty cool. He's got the London flag at the side, some other emblems. Uh, is anyone else seeing this? Mouth plate is a little bit loose. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. I like the hat. Pretty soft and thick. Okay, that was aggressive. Um, oh, he was canceled for 2017. Okay, yeah, eh, not thick, not interested. Let's check out Holly, though. Holly Shiftwell with this weird new purple color. London Chase. All right, let's do this. This is such a thick stream. BCP live stream. Today's main character, thick. Pink. Oh, you got the reference. Everyone remembers that reference and meme. Pink. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, well, at least I got rid of the mouth plate because this one's already, like, falling off on me. She got a big nose here. <laughs> she got a big nose. What color is this? And Anyone, take a guess. What color is this? This is... Is this pink? Everyone's saying this is pink, but that does not... Ah, uh, yes, that Christmas special. Eh, you're not wrong. That definitely does look more like a pink and not purple like Holly. 
Uh, Buzz, can you um bring me the packaging for Holly real quick? Buzz? Oh, that's right. I yeeted him away. I'll just grab it myself. Okay, see? The, yeah, I mean, magenta, pink. Mm, yeah, see, this is what I would have preferred seeing. That is accurate. Not this. Please tell me how, Mattel or Tylin, you thought that these colors were the exact same. I mean... I mean, she do be looking kind of thick, though, buddy. <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> uh, where is Holly? I almost yeeted her away. Thoughts on Toy Story Terror? I love it. It's a great special. Okay, so literally the only difference is different color. Um, her lips look a little bit different as well. They look more engraved. Oh, she's got a soft feel to her as well. An accuracy alert, pretty much. I should do a try not to laugh. My Christmas special that I did that one time was pretty much that. Okay, so... I was literally about to say right now, Here's Thailand, here's China. How can you tell them apart? Hmm, I wonder. How can you tell them apart? They look so similar. Right, guys? They look so similar. I clearly can't... <gasps> Rich Mixon's... No, no, I'm not doing that. R not Rich Mixon's girlfriend? No, not doing that. That's funny, though. Okay, but everything else looks the same. So, goodbye, Holly. And now on to a previously released car. Carla Veloso with Flames. Rogue Grand Prix. Um, I believe this was, was... What was this from? 2016 or 17? Or 15? I'm not sure. But it was in a different series called All In All Blowout, I believe? I mean, and this one's got her booty on fire. Look at that. She's so thick. She got her booty light on fire. Lit on fire. 2014. Okay. I was way off. Seven years ago now, right? 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Six years ago. Wow. The car, this car is smiling and the China one is not smiling. Okay. You know what? I want to get the China one now because I knew that this one was smiling. And I was like, wait a minute. Didn't the original released one have like a sadder different expression hmm this is a pretty dope car i really like this i kind of do wish this was removable though but since it doesn't have a different expression i don't see the point of taking it off where's carla do i have carla out here yeah i just huh i didn't bring out carla did i no i didn't Okay, well, luckily, Danico Blue 43 saved the day and provided me with this silver China one. And they look the same. And she looks so happy that she's caught on fire. Hey, guys, look, I'm caught on fire. Whee! Okay, now let's do this Francesco that's been breathing. or Not even breathing. I think he's dead. Francesco Bernoulli pulled back from Disney Store, trapped in there for two months now, ever since May. All right, you know what? Someone time me. We're about to get real with this thing. And see if I can break my record of five or seven seconds. No idea. Hopefully I don't drop the camera. Three, two, one, go. What the heck? Okay, yeah. Um, I definitely did not beat my record this time. Uh, come on. I am slow. I don't. This is a total fail. Stupid packaging. Okay, so here's Francesco, and he's looking pretty dang cool. Not thick. He ain't. Wait a minute. Never mind. He's freaking thick. 25 seconds. That. Piston <sighs> Coproductions. That is very disappointing. Francesco out. So who is he going to compare me to? Hmm. All right, guys, on to the next car, Terry Gong. No, I'm joking. Let's do this quick little comp uh, comparison of both Francesco's. The expressions look... Ugh, this guy's mouth always creeped me out as a kid. And uh, yes, I do have Dale in my co uh, collection. Huh. You know, on the photos at DisneyStore.com, it looked more metallic. And that's the whole reason why I bought them. Maybe they updated it, but I don't know. This video is such a thick meme. I thought it had suspension also. Thank you, Interstate. 
Oh gosh. Okay, I'm guessing for the sake of the uh, what's it called? The pullback, Thickshesco. <laughs> that's a good one. For the sake of the pullback, that's why he's got that huge box back there. But let's see if it even works. Cause last time I bought a pullback from Disney Store, it was Rocket Racing McQueen, and the pullback didn't even work. In fact, here he is right now. Hey, what's up, guys? So, as you guys know, my pullback didn't work last time. So, yeah, see, and it still doesn't work. Yeah, but Francesco here does work, right, buddy? Yes, McQueen, because I am speed. Yo, that actually sounded pretty cool. Yes, because I am triple speed, McQueen. More like triple sped. Okay. Okay, so now let's do Terry Gong. Walmart. Oh, I got this on Walmart. Thought I got this on Amazon. Who do I not have from here? Is this the one I got today? Yeah, I think so. Dope. And Holly we have back there. And I think these two I already have already. So I think this is the last one I need from this uh, Tokyo Party series. And I doubt these two were put in the deluxe boxes. Because if they were, that would have been really weird. No, no. that. Trust me, I want to see the lights of Jackson Storm 2. We'll get there. You know, it's funny at the beginning of the video, I said that I was going to make this a nice half circle, but it, it's a mess. Okay, so, I mean, I like the smile on this guy a lot better. It's smaller, and it's more looking weird. It's it's not even placed on right. It's like he's working to the left, our right. Anyways, you know what? I'm in the mood for some ice cream. You guys watching at home, what snacks did you get to watch this video? Because I'm definitely feeling a little bit hungry. Depresco. <laughs> okay, so the biggest or the only reason this guy's a deluxe is because of his huge accessory. Bang, 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 plastic. What is this? Is a Happy Meal toy? What is this from Madagascar? Madagascar 3, when they go to the freaking, what is it, the carnival? Or the circus? This is reminding me of a Happy Meal toy from Madagascar 3. Get out of here. Oh, it made a, did you guys hear that? It made a gong sound as soon as, it, that is so, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This turns. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you guys hear that? It makes a gong sound. When you drop it, at least, or throw it. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get distracted with that, but I quickly want to see what McQueen looks like on there. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Mater. Because he was there in... You know. This, is, this isn't Radiator Springs. This is exactly why I didn't want to bring you along to these things. You gotta... What does he say? You're making a big scene. Yeah, something like that. There's a but. That's not a button, is it? Uh, wrong McQueen. I know, I know, I know, Kieran, but the yeah, collection's behind me and it's so far. <laughs> if anyone watched Jesse, that's a reference to Bertram. See, he doesn't want to make that gong sound now, but when I throw it, yeet. It does. <gasps> oh, oh, we're done with Cars 2. All right, you know what? Let's do Ultimate Jackson Storm now. All right, so here we got Ultimate Lights and Sounds, Jackson Storm. Hey, good luck out there, champ. This guy looks amazing. Wait. Hey, and he still lights up. Okay. I love the packaging. It looks amazing. I'm going to definitely keep this packaging because Mattel actually looked like they put effort into this. And thankfully, it has... The heck? What am I supposed to call this? It used to say, is he open? Is he thick? All right, let's open this up. He looks great. I, I honestly like it. I don't. I know a lot of people aren't big fans of these lights and sounds plastic cars, but I, I personally like them because these are another thing I grew up with as a kid. I used to have a lot of plastic Lightning McQueens that would light up from Mattel and stuff like that. And it's great to see them on the shelves for you younger generation of kids. But me as a boomer, this is a throwback and a piece of art. Okay, so... Yeah, let's see here. PCP the boomer here putting down his glasses. Let's read this here, sonny boy. Instructions. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, you you just you just press them. You you just you you, you just press them, and you replace the batteries. Huh. Okay. Boomer PCP about to unbox this car. Did you know there's a mini Francesco? Yeah, I heard he's coming out soon. Hopefully, he'll be at HEB so I can pick him up there. And this Jackson is a little bit difficult to unbox. There we go. I mean, I've been on YouTube for three years if you count that as being a boomer. All right, so here's Jackson Storm. Does he have some sort of try me mode that prevents me from showing off all of his features in this video? Mm. Hmm, no, I don't think so. Okay, so let's test him out. Yeah. This is so cool. So it's got four LED lights on each side. Let's see. It looks like there's only two, but there's four small ones. Two on this side, two on this side. Let's see if it does it. Oh, it's not doing it. Ooh, that's a nice glow. Um, no, it's still showing two strips. But trust me, the other day I pressed this and it light, lit up individually all four lights. Morning, champ. And how's our living legend today? Uh, Walmart and Target don't have the Mini Racers blind boxes. They only have the three packs. Oh, wait, did it just do it? Did I just completely miss that? I feel stupid now. Please do it again. Oh, what the? Oh, it, oh, cool, 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 cool. That is really cool. And that's basically everything this Jackson Storm does. Lights up and talks. Okay, so it's only showing two there lighting up. That's weird. Last time I saw four lights. Maybe I'm just imagining. That was a long sequence of lights. Should I use this for like a Christmas special or something? Oh, he said, yeah. All right, sure. I'll use you for a Christmas special. I'll, I'll shoehorn you into a story somehow. I mean, Jackson, eh, he ain't that thick. Oh, damn, boy. He is thick. All right. So here's the size comparison compared to the Mattel Jackson Storm, the 155 scale one at least. Oh, wow. Thank you. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally be Thought you meant meat. Nope. Okay. Anyways, yeah, there's a size comparison. This guy's so thick, he barely fits on the camera. If Doc never died, who would have you picked to die? Ah, oh, that's a really tough question, but uh, I'm Natalie Certain. Because she sucks. And I hate her. I was watching Cars 3 in theaters when it came out, and I hated her. Throughout the whole movie. She ticked me off. Anyways. Hey, good luck out there, champ. There's Jackson Storm for you. Oh, try to hold the lighter button. That's a good idea. Let's try that. Let's let's see what happens. Up. Oh, let's just wait for that. Okay, let's try it. <gasps> oh, that is cool. Wait. He laughed. Yeah, Jackson isn't that fast. You knew I. Wait a minute. He's still talking. What the heck? That was a... What What the... Okay, so it plays a whole light show when you hold down the button. That is really cool. And it's still going. That is amazing. That is so cool. I can't wait for McQueen, honestly, because the lightning bolt lights up. Okay, I really want to see Francesco versus Jackson Storm. That would be so cool. But let's hold it down one more time and see what happens. Oh, same thing. He laughs. So one light sequence. What if I want to turn it off? Do I press it? No, that's not going to work. <sighs> now we got to wait for this dude. 
But look how cool that looks. Okay, so he stopped. Woo! Yeah, whatever. Okay, so now let's do J and all of the Cars 3 diecast, and hopefully we'll be done very soon. Thank you, everyone, who stayed throughout the whole live stream. Let me just move these up a little bit forward. And then towards the end of the live stream... Oh, you guys saw my thick leg? Anyways. Um... I'll save about 10 to 20, no, 10 to 15 minutes for questions. Oh, I already did a face reveal. And yeah, um, I'll save 10 to 15 minutes at the end of the live stream when we're done unboxing everything to answer questions that you guys might have for me. But for now, let's unbox Jay, made in Thailand in the Rusty's Racing Center series. Jay, Jay, same thing. All right. So here's Jay, and something I wanted to talk about is, you know when Mattel released the first trainee, or this was one of the first, I think this is Gabriel, the one in the two-pack with Aiden? Um, of course, they were still in China, but look at this. Window bars, correct? Number 49. Okay. But then they switched over to Thailand, and Thailand was like, nope, we don't want window bars. They got rid of them. And then they got back into the trainees, here we go, an example, Kurt with Bugs, one of the most recent ones, besides Jay, and they were like, you know what, window bars again. And now here we got Jay and window bars again. So it's a little bit weird how at one point Mattel was like, yeah, you know what, we don't really need those window bars, eh, take them out. So, uh, what is there to say about this car? Uh, he's the same mold as Kurt. Uh, the spoilers I have all been different and unique on each trainee from what I know. He's got this different blue in comparison to... I mean, he's a little thick. Not too thick, but just the right amount of thick. Sterling would be proud. And, uh, would Edna Motorproof, though? Nah, I don't think so. Good question, though. Anyways, uh, different expression, but it's the same mold and same idea. Ew, I don't like the eyebrows, though. Or... Makeup, I should say. This this looks better. This looks just so grainy at the bottom. And, ew, maybe it's just mine. What is the right amount of thick? Hmm. The right amount of thick. What is the right amount of thick? I'll ask the, I'll ask the fans. What do you guys think is the right amount of thick? Who is the thickest car? Alright, so now... We're going to do a Thailand versus China. And we're going to do... Tim Treadless, thank you for suggesting this um, Cars Diecast reviewer. What's with you and the thick stuff? I don't know. It just became a meme. I, how did that become a meme on my channel? When did I first mention that? The whole thick it situation on my channel. That is weird. It's just become a, th a thick meme, pretty much. Anyways, I have two other Tim Treadlesses right here. This one is the one from May 1st, I believe, of 2017. But with a custom black spoiler that I filled in with a black Sharpie permanent marker. See there, you can still see the orange from the original uh, towards the bottom right there. Um, what if China is no longer a thing? It seems like that's slowly happening with uh, China. They're slowly fading away. But because, I mean, Vietnam is trying to beat China wannabes. But anyways, then we got... This Chinese um, Tim Treadless that is metallic from an 11 pack with Mater with Lightning Bolt. And I didn't bother to change the spoiler on this one because it looked nice like that. And here's the one we just unboxed. And it is the Thailand variant of Tim. So I am going to compare the May 1st one with the current newest one. Um... Actually, you know what? We're going to compare all three. So we got two Chinese on the left and one Thailand on the right. Uh, basically, in May 1st, they did not put any window bars on any of the cars, whether it was Danico Cruiser Mirrors, Jackson Storm, uh, Danny Swervis, all of those connections around May 1st, they did not receive the window bars. But um, as time went on, they started adding on the, the window bars, and that's why in the 11 pack with Made It With Lightning Bolt, Tim Trellis got the window bar treatment. But only as a, so a metallic car, I believe. And then we got Thailand right here, which already has that treatment that's been passed on from the metallic one. 
And now, he looks a little bit metallic. Have you guys seen that? He looks a little bit metallic in comparison to this. This paint looks a lot more dull, and this one looks a lot more vibrant. I like that. But this is now pitch black, and this used to be like a copper color, almost. Interesting. Looking at the sides right here, uh, it's just the black and the bronze color that I'm seeing differently. On the back, don't mind mine. It's chipped a little bit. But besides that, they look pretty dang identical. Copper color. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. That's my biggest fear. Anyways, so now this Tim Treadless right here. Wait a minute. I didn't even, I didn't even notice. The eyes aren't even that different. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Scratch that. These are brown and these are blue. And then this one is brown. Wait, what the? So then what is this? Blue? Oh, okay, makes sense. S Tim Treadless from the Silver Collection. And Edna Mode does not approve of this series because it says, Stylish and Speedy, these shining racers pay homage to the roots of racing. No, they don't. So Edna Mode does not approve of this. If she was here, she would tell you guys, No, darling, I do not approve of the Silver Racer of the Silver Collection, Tim uh, Treadless. I, I do not like it. It does not pay any homage, and like not even 50% of the vehicle is silver. It's mostly metallic. In fact, it's reminding me more of this car. But instead of the copper black, it's got the silver. That's literally the only difference. Next. No, you know what? I'm being serious. Next. I, I, I don't like this. Uh, okay, the rims are cool. Yeah, sure. Orange rims are cool and all. But besides that, what else is different? Besides, okay, what the heck is up with this dude's eyes? Wait, wrong one. I got literally four Tim Treadlesses on hand, and it's kind of difficult to keep track of which one is which. His eyes are so separated here and bigger. You know, just like the Miguel Silver Collection, Miguel, I don't like it. Okay, I don't like that one. Get rid of him. Oh, like my first Thailand vs. China video. It was like, hey, you remember your classic McQueen from 2006, not, right? Nope, get rid of that. You gotta pay money for this now. Only the OGs will remember when I made that joke. Anyways, here's Thunder Hollow. Thunder Hollow Superfly. Hey, it's Disney Docket. Wait, is it the real one? Someone check for me, please, because sometimes there is fake accounts. So someone check that up for me. It's a little bit strange. I think is it the real one? Anyways, where's the where did I put it? Oh, here he is. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I don't... Yeah, that's a fake. It's a fake. No, it's a fake. It's a fake. It's it's a fake. The Disney docket wouldn't, wouldn't say that. I think that's the person that was bullying Interstate earlier. Yeah, it's a fake. I knew it. Okay, so there is two... What the heck? He looks like an actual fly with that mouth. Uh, mouth. Mouth is down here. Eyes, my bad. Look at that. Is that the Batman logo? Oh, what is up with this? Blue eyes instead of green now? I'm trash talking this one so much. Rubber tires from China. Thailand with plastic tires. The th tires are thick. Okay, cool. Thick tires. And that's literally it. That is the only difference. Everything else looks the same. Original Superfly. Nah, this is my Superfly. I don't know what you're talking about, but this is not my Superfly. I will take over. Yeah, okay. It's the same person. Time out. Faker docket. Interesting. Okay, so... We're gonna do now the... Oh my gosh, the name was so lengthy on this McQueen. I had to squeeze it down to like 25% of text. Rust, Muddy Rusty's Racing Center... Lightning McQueen with that new Mattel logo. Interesting. Now let's see if the second Lightning McQueen that we had in this um, unboxing is cool or not. But it's another Thunder Hollow series diecast. So let's take a look at this guy. Oh, he's pretty cool. Um, I would have liked if he had the pop tire just like in Cars 3. But the thing is, I don't think they would have liked selling that because if let's just say from a kid's perspective 
they got this for a birthday party or something or for a birthday gift. Um, it won't be able to roll 100% because the tire, you know, it'll be popped and it would be either bumpy, um, bumpy rolling or it wouldn't even roll at all, at all. So it makes sense that they didn't pop it. And the face isn't that accurate. I mean, he didn't come out smiling when he got exposed in the movie. So card is wrong. Actually, you know what? This is a lot more accurate. Yeah, that's 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 the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have the pop tire, but hmm, it does have some texture on the side of the tires in comparison to what I have nearest and closest to me for convenience. Look at the difference of the texture on the two Lightyear tires right there. This one seems to have texture like if it was a real mud tire, and this one doesn't because you know it's a piston cup car. Actually, as a matter of fact, my car's collection is literally right next to me. So you know what? Let me pull out a Lightning McQueen. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Hey, what a coincidence. Okay, so there's a nice little comparison. Is this the Thailand one? Which one did I grab? I didn't even know. Thailand. Okay, so. And he's really dusty. Uh, difference is the expression. I like this expression. Kind of accurate. Um, I do like how Tomi or Tomica, they give suspension to the car so they can like move from side to side or rock from side to side. I would have liked that for this car. Because, you know, in the movie, he tries shaking off the mud. He's like, like Mr. Drippy throws the water on him. And he's like, plah, plah, and he like shakes off the water. And he moves his tire outward. I would have liked for it to have at least a little suspension so it can, you know, rock about from side to side. That would have been a little bit cool. But Mattel doesn't really do that. Oh my gosh, how many accounts does this person have? It's not cool that they're bullying someone else on the live stream. That's super immature. Okay, so... The reds look similar. Uh, the yellow does seem a little bit different. It seems darker and a little bit more vibrant here and then a little bit more dull over here. Has anyone made customs? I do have a few customs. Um, let me. See. I think I have one right here. This was the very first custom I made and it's Lightning McQueen with the Cars 3 headset. It looks bad, but for my first custom ever, I like it. It's all right. I mean, it's a little bit off, but this is the... Um, headset from daryl car trip the talking one so it's eh, it's so so but if mattel ever does release this guy and with an a determined expression that would be amazing like he's like come on Cruz, come on like with a shouting expression almost that would look really really cool so i mean i don't know if anyone ever saw this video of this guy that i made but i mean it's all right in my opinion um it did the crazy glue since it is you know super strong in comparison to normal grew no normal grew grew from the minions no not that <laughs> that was a weird impression of grew but um the glue is so strong from crazy glue that it peeled off some of the paint but besides that everything else seems perfectly fine i did glue this onto mcqueen's side so yeah <sighs> now it is with a weird heart to say or not a weird heart, but a jealous heart to say that my brother found this and now I'm going to open this in honor of him. I wish I found this in store. It's quite hefty. I mean thick. But it's a fan favorite. Team 95 and 51 flow. The heck? That popped right open. Okay. And here is flow made in Vietnam. Okay, so now we got another triple header. We got China. Vietnam and Thailand. This is Thailand, right? Thailand. Okay, so we got Thailand, China, Vietnam. Let's compare the faces real quick. Um, hmm. The lips seem different. Uh, this is Thailand, correct? Yeah, Thailand seems to have gone back to the... 2006 or 2007 flow with this expression because her mouth looks a little bit sharper down here but over here it's a lot more rounded off and now this flow seems to have a combination of both expressions almost hmm yeah it seems like a combination of both expressions because it has these eyes but this mouth expression 
interesting okay so looking at the side the color of the cream on the side or the cream color that she has on the side uh thailand has it a little bit more greenish uh china has it a bit more whitish and this was the toys r us exclusive one well it was because it, it got re-released with the ramon that had the precision series mold um and then the fan favorites one has a more creamish color so which one's your personal favorite of the cream color for me personally i like this one this one seems to be the the right uh tone in my opinion so there's her 95 and 51 dinoco hat not removable and then back here she's got the fabulous lightning mcqueen flag and the dinoco 51 flag pretty cool if I had to choose my favorite, though, overall from the three and not just from the side of the color, from the beige color, I would say the China one. I like the China one a lot. But anyways, that's pretty much it. And now I got to show you the... Oh. Oh, no. So that's where he went to. Oh, my goodness. And it's another classic big mess on the Piston Cup Productions channel. Anyways... Oh, shoot, I just hit my elbow right there. Hey, it's my it's my leg. I just yeah, whatever. Um room update. What is there new here? There's that new wall. There's not that new wall. Um oh shoot. Oh my legs hurt. I was sitting down for so long. Um Buzz is laying in the trash, but not forking. Not forky. Disappointing. Yep. Room update. Well, this is what's this is what's new. update there's my desk i miss joe Hogan mcqueen don't worry he's he's um still in a few videos this one was in one of my more recent videos um so here's my entire mcqueen shelf so i organized it by movies kind of cars one cars two cars two and storytellers cars three um the t-rock series all of those. Just the XRS ones aren't there. Because, you know, XRS McQueen is right there. And she'll, so it's a Drag Racer one. Hey, here's, in, in fact, the one from my movie. It's still got the cotton on there. This is the one I used for racing like a drag racer. The stunt double, at least. And here's the one I actually used for the, for the scenes when he wasn't damaged. So, yeah, here's the stunt double of my movie of McQueen. And here's everyone else. I have a few open spots left for cars that have been revealed, like, you know, or released already, like Rocket Racing Cam Spinner, um, Paul Conriff, the new color changers. I got some spots left, uh, open there for them. I have all of these scavenger hunts just sitting here I, that I found at Big Lots. Um, yeah, the rubber tire cars are just kind of sitting there on the shelf. Uh, got my cruise collection. There's a few stuff missing here because... Um, I knew that unboxing all of this stuff, I would have to reorganize the collection. So then here are the Disney Storm McQueens, some of the haulers, um, next gens and the tractors, cars one, um, stock cars, and the team of, you know, 0017 race division. And then we got um, Florida 500 and Rusty's Racing Center and Cotterpin, all that good stuff. Thunder Hollow, variants of the Cars 3 characters. Uh, Mater has two shelves. So now down here we have Flo's, Ramon's, Luigi's, and Guido's. Pretty cool. So that's my collection. Little update. I have made two collection videos in the past before, but yeah. And then I got frames for my signed posters. I couldn't find the exact same sizes, so I went with what was closest as possible. So that's signed by Annie Potts. Any pots, right? Uh, Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, and then over here, it's various signatures. I think it's Mac, Flo, Mc uh, Owen Wilson, McQueen, uh, Cruz, Jackson Storm, I think. I think all of them signed that poster. I'm not sure about Ar Army Hammer, which is Jackson Storm, but for sure, Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, Flo, and Mac are on there. And I think also Luigi and the lady who sang Glory Days or Ride, ZZ Ward. I'm not sure. I mean, have the certificate, but I think the certificate is under here. And on the certificate, it says who specifically signed it because honestly, I can't understand that 
bunch of random swivels and curvy whatever. Um, but there's my photography wall. I use this for photo shoots mostly. And then here's my Toy Story collection. Buzz Lightyear's, Jesse's, and then Woody's, and then Toy Story 4 characters, Bo Peeps, and then Intensive Galloping Bullseye. And this one I don't have a frame for yet, and it is creasing on me, which is what I'm hating, but hopefully I can find a frame for this one soon. But this is a Cars 1 poster signed by Owen Wilson. Wow. So yeah, here we go. Genuine poster signed by Owen Wilson. Was this signed in 2006? No idea. I'd have to check the certificates that they came with, but um, where can I put this? I'll just lay it right there. And then I'll um, once I'm done organizing all of this, I will you know, clean up and do whatever I have to do. But anyways, now I'm going to answer some of you guys' questions. Eh, I'm not even going to bother cleaning up this mess. So I'm ready to answer you guys' questions. So let's go for it. All right, so first question is, well, the first comment I saw was Bo Peep. Her sheeps are thick. Yeah, they are. What's your rarest car? I get that question a lot. Um, I'm not sure. It would either be Damage the King, San Diego Comic Con, um, Precision... Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Or the making of McQueen 3-pack. Do you know that there is going to be Cars 4? No, there isn't. When is Cars 3 rewritten coming out? No idea. It's behind schedule. Do you have Lane Lock? I just ordered him a few days ago, actually. So hopefully I'll have him for July's monthly unboxing. Are you a fan of Francesco? Heck yeah, he's amazing. Man Madagascar 3 or Penguins of Madagascar? Uh, Penguins of Madagascar. That movie was enjoyable for me. If McQueen won seven Piston Cups and Chick won one, then who do you think won the Piston Cups the other seasons? That's a good question. Maybe Cal Weathers, the King, of course. Yeah, probably them. Can we have another Fastest Lightning video? Um, I did make one a few days ago on Komodo. How much Toy Story do you have? Well, I don't know. It's quite a lot. Um, what was the first Cars poster? What was the first Cars poster? That I owned or bought or have signed or are you talking about that one? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. My bad. Why Mattel made Disney cars in Vietnam? Probably because of issues with trading and whatnot. You know, exchanging goods as a country and whatnot. Don't want to get too into details about all that stuff. When is your third movie of XRS series? Please answer. Well, it's not really an X XRS series. It's more of just a racing like... Uh, fireball drag racer type of series but i mean i get what you mean maybe i should call it an xrs series i'm not sure but i'm not doing mud racers or rocket racing but i'm not sure when i'm gonna do the next movie due to um what's going on i don't want to say the word but it, it is delayed um do you have taught the pizza planet truck in cars yes i do the cars 3 released version at least not the cars 1 version who's your favorite lemon grim and Pacer or Acer? It's it's this... Oh, Siri turned on. That's weird. It's this car and the... Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? Shut up, Siri. Okay. Um... Ooh, the, dang, that's a lot of questions. I lost track. My bad. I'm so sorry. I have to... Um... Do you know that the Five Piston Cup... Yeah, I did mention that. Where is it? Here it is. Cars 3 McQueen. Who's your favorite Toy Story toy? Oh, I love Jesse. Can you make a Cars for the Fastest Lightning video on the World Grand Prix Racers? Yeah, sure. I'll try doing that soon. Maybe by July or August, I'll try getting that out. Could you try Discord? I think I did try it before and I didn't like it too much. Your previous collection videos didn't show your collection in detail like other people's collections. Will you ever do that? Mm, like going individually car by car? Maybe... Because maybe in 2022, I will get a different room for just my collection. And that's when I would like to do an updated video. So I'm going to hold back on that. Wally or Ratatouille? Oh, that's a tough one. But um, cars. <laughs> Are you getting Case J, which has Silver Jeff? Yeah, of course. Oh, the first Cars poster I bought. The first Cars poster I bought, as far as the ones that were signed, was that one up there. Do you like the thummy take thick jokes? I mean, if you guys like them, I like them. 
Rich Mixon's Rich Mixon's girlfriend? Um, well, he's trying to steal Sally. So, I mean, come get your man's McQueen. I mean, your girl McQueen. My bad. Do you have a Francesco Raul Max? Um, I don't have all of those. Would you ever play World of Cars online if it was still alive? Yes, of course I would. I loved that game as a kid. It was so amazing. I would play it every day. Um, is Toy Story Reality Check um, in the works? Um, kind of, so-so. Uh, we kind of took a break from it because I'm trying to focus on Cars videos. And I took a mini break from Toy Story. But I'll get back to it soon with the Girls Night Out Part 2. Do you like Cars 3? Yeah, I like it. Favorite background racer from Cars 1 and Cars 3 stock cars and next gens? Um, ah, that's, a, that's a tough question. I'd have to get back to that later because it would take me a bit of time for me to answer that. If you had, a, if you had to pick a background Piston Cup racer to have a speaking line, which would it be? Rich Mixon. Why is Holly's shift full pink instead of purple? I don't know. Ask Tylen. Did you cry in Toy Story 4? Yeah. Can you make stop motions about the material shorts? Material shorts? What are those? Who picks our characters as you... Huh? Um, dang, that's a lot of questions. Are you getting the new drive through case? Not the case, but I would kind of... I mean, I kind of do want to get cases because every time I have friends over or family over, like nieces and cousins, they always want these cars are like oh my gosh these are so amazing like they literally ignore every single rare car i have and they pay attention to these so i want to get extras of the drive-in series to give away to my family and cousins and nieces and uh friends and whatnot favorite mini racer uh i know it's gonna be my favorite i haven't seen it yet but i ordered it should be on the way is the rs mcqueen from the end of cars one could you make a stop motion about Francesco versus Jackson Storm? I kind of took a break from stop motion, but maybe I can make a story with both of them racing. Your super chases are your rarest cars. Um, well, the king, the damage one wasn't really a super chase, so no, not really. Favorite stock car racer? It's a long. That's a. <gasps> Ooh, little harky. Yeah, you got here late, man. Everything's unboxed, and uh, Danico Blue Forty Three sent me toilet paper. All right, so Woody from Toy Story or Lightning McQueen from Cars? Lightning McQueen, can you please do an Incredibles 2 video? I did two of them, I think. I made one hunting. No, yeah, I did two. One was at the outlets where I hunted for Incredible 2 merchandise, and then one was at my local mall, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Morgan Martins. I think I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Will the lemons help out Rich Mixon and Spiky Phillip? Uh, no. Do you watch The Loud House? From time to time, yeah. I have seen a few episodes. Do you know Cars Keaton? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Morgan is... I um, Cars Diecast Reviewer sent me a list of my rarest cars because I sent him pictures of my cars collection and he told me which ones were the rarest. So he gave me a list and I believe Morgan was on the list because he has a super chase. So yeah. Can you make stop motion... Stop motions about the major shorts. I have thought a bit uh, about it actually, but I've never gotten around to doing stop motion because it's time consuming and kind of tedious. And I become more of a boomer because I have to get so low on the ground and my back hurts. And it's for a long period of time. The last full on stop motion I made was the one where the king crashes. And that was on my brother's birthday. I was doing it on, doing it on the day of his birthday and that took four hours to make. So, I mean, sure, Racing Like a Fireball that 2, or slash Racing Like a Drag Racer, took 11 months to make, but I wasn't 11 months on the carpet recording. I took breaks. If you could, would you revive Google Plus? To be honest, yes, because I haven't been into the whole Tapa Talk thing. I haven't really tried it, but I, th I think I would have trusted Google Plus more. Do you have Sarge? Yeah, a ton of them. Do you have TG Castle Nut? Not the Cars 3 version. But the one that was mis mislabeled as a Cars 1 racer, yes. But I think I did order the TG Castle note from Cars 3 on eBay a few days ago as well. I love that you called Bullseye Fetal Lies. Hey, thanks, man.
Can you make a stop motion of Chicken versus Jackson Storm? I don't... Yeah, again, stop motions, I've taken a break, but um, I can probably make a story with them, but it would be with my hands. Did you see the Incredibles meme I posted on Instagram? Uh, send me it and I'll check it out. I don't have my phone with me right now. Uh, my phone is charging right now and that's when the Siri turned on. I'm recording on my 11, iPhone 11, the red iPhone I got. My personal one is the XS Max right now. Jackson Stormer Francesco. Uh, that's tough. It's a tie. I like both of them. What cars have you ordered recently? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned till July's monthly unboxing to see what I got. And August, of course, because I'm gonna. it's so much that I ordered that I'm going to have to split it up either into July, August, and September or all just in one big unboxing. Depends if I find anything in stores or not. Hopefully I do because, I mean, this was unexpected. No one expected to find this in stores. And look, I found it in, in store. What is your dream car? That is a really tough question, but I've always wanted a Ferrari, a BMW, or a Lamborghini. Uh, which specific model? Mm, I don't know. They all look really nice. Do you like Monster Inc? Yeah. Do you play Roblox? I used to, but not as much anymore. As same goes for Minecraft. Buzz, buzz, buzz. No vas a creer. Se me perdió el firulais. Yep. What's your favorite McQueen? Oh, that's a, that is a tough question, but the Piston Cup production is McQueen, of course. Okay, yeah, I'll, after the stream, I'll check out what everyone sent me. What are your buzz? I kind of had to go with buzz. It was my birthday on the 27th. Say happy birthday to me. Well, you don't have to be mad about it. A Chevrolet McQueen. Oh, yeah, because I did post a community post. What paint job should I do if I get a car in real life uh, as far as McQueen? And I think I decided that more than likely I'm going to do this paint job. And then instead of Rusty's or not. Oh, it's completely blank. I'll put Piston Cup Productions there or something. Or Piston Cup Productions down here. I still have to um, plan that out for the wrap. So when I take it to the shop, they can wrap up the car. I haven't gotten in a car yet. Because, I mean, it's just plans for the future. Because I'm still in driving school, of course. How many trains, uh, trainees do you have? Well, let's see. Here there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine trainees. I'm missing two of them, though. Sudeep and Kristoff, I think. Those never got re-released, and it's a shame. Can you make a story where Chick tries to rematch McQueen? Ah, oh, I mean, okay, I'm gonna say this now. Spoiler alert: that is kinda gonna happen. Kinda a little bit similar in Racing Like a Fireball Three. Do you own Miles Axelrod? Yes, I have the ones. Let me just show you. Do I have the one with the open expression? I don't. That is so weird. I thought I did. There's one where he has an open expression and has a mic. That's weird. I thought I had that guy. But I have the classic one, the one with the open uh, hood, and the one that's like, you know, all dirty and whatnot. Ugh. Gamer Roblox. Time out. Go to the corner. No, I'm joking. Uh, why did you take down the experience with Disney's docket streams? Um, the whole reason I took those down is because I knew people were going to go and go back and watch my older videos. And I thought, why would I leave them up? Then, then people are going to be confused and say, what happened around this time? What was going on? So I just decided, you know what? I'm going to put them on private. That way people aren't confused on what happened around that time. Are you excited for Soul? I heard they released a new teaser trailer. I got to check that out as soon as I'm done with the stream. But um, yeah, I'll answer five more questions and then we'll wrap up the live stream. Can you, okay, so here's one of them. Can you look at Instagram, what I sent you? Yeah, I'll check in a bit. But I'm probably going to be bombarded with a lot of messages, so I'm sorry if I can't get to everyone. Oh, gosh, that is a lot of questions. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to choose four more, guys. Oh, you're in Spain. Dang. Um, I watched Brave with my mom when it was released, and it's more of a mother-daughter movie, so I didn't really connect to the movie that much, but it was all right. My first Cars 2 diecast, I think it was either the classic Cars 2 McQueen or the classic Francesco or it was the Lights and Sounds McQueen and Francesco or the Lights and Sounds Mater. Do you like Mario? Yeah, he's childhood. Okay, I think I did three questions. Okay, I'll do two more questions. Would you like me to make a meme of those three kings? Heck yeah. Have you watched Incredibles 2? Yes. 
Um, okay, let me do one more question. Can you make a story of Smokey becoming a racer? You know what? That is a really good question. Hmm, I think people would... That's a good idea. I think I could do that. How are you with... You know what? Okay, there's just so many questions. How are you with this virus? I am perfectly fine, thank God. I hope you guys are fine as well and hopefully staying healthy. Dash from the Incredibles or Cars from Cars? What the? Bo Peep or Jesse? Jesse, of course. Have you ever watched Total Drama? I think so. What is your favorite Disney movie excluding Pixar and Descendants? Uh, I like The Little Mermaid, uh, Aladdin, and... What's another one? Hmm. Well, those are two of my more favorite ones. The Lion King is another one of my favorites. Coronavirus. <gasps> Shoot. Oh, wait, but I said car. Okay, okay, YouTube bots. If you're in the chat, I said car coronavirus. I didn't say the other one. I said car Ona virus. It's when two cars are together and they don't stay six tires apart. They don't stay six tires apart and then they get worried like this and they get infected. But anyways, okay. Uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I'm sorry this live stream was a little bit lengthy. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd do this live because... I, I wanted to chat with you guys. It's been a while since I've done a live stream. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. It means the world to me for all of you that were able to stay throughout the whole thing. Thank you guys so, so much. It really means the world to me. Um, I hope you guys stay safe throughout this whole situation that we're going through. And um, hopefully life gets better. But I'll still be here to make videos for you guys to keep you guys entertained during lockdown. And hopefully everything is well. Hopefully everything goes well. Um, I wish you all the best. Stay safe. God bless you all. And I love you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for being amazing, amazing fans. It means the world to me that you guys have sticked around with me for the past three years. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I keep on. I cannot, I cannot express that enough. I love the fact that you guys stayed till the end to watch me unbox my cars. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you. He's dabbing. Oh. Uh, see you all next time.